We'll now look at the constellation Scorpius and find out how, how to find south by Scorpius. Scorpius is a summertime constellation seen in the northern hemisphere, very much in our southern skies. The higher your latitude, the lower Scorpius appears in the sky. The mythology surrounding Scorpius helps us remember the order of the night skies. It is said, for instance, that Scorpius is chasing Orion, whom he will never catch since Orion sets in the west before Scorpius rises in the east. So as long as your feet are firmly planted on this earth, you'll never see Orion, a winter constellation, and Scorpius at the same time. Mythology aside, the fact is that Scorpius is on the opposite side of the sun from Orion, which is why we never see them together. We see Scorpius when the Earth in its annual orbit around the sun is on the Scorpius side of the sun, and Orion when Earth is on Orion's side of the sun. The sun, of course, blocks out our view of any stars appearing on its far side. Unlike some other constellations that don't readily appear like anything they're said to represent, Scorpius, at least, looks somewhat like a giant celestial scorpion. At its neck is the red giant Antares. I'm just going to point out Antares to you right here. That is the red giant Antares. Some people liken scorpion to a fish hook. Like Orion that rises on his back and sets on his stomach, Scorpius also shifts position as the night progresses. To find south by Scorpius, observe the constellation's position. When the head is more or less vertical with the horizon, I'm going to identify the head right here. When this head is more or less vertical with the horizon, just an imaginary line drawn through the head, then you can find south by an imaginary line drawn more or less through the tail as such. So they say when, when the head stands up, the tail points south. And when the tail stands up, and that means when this line here through the tail this imaginary line is more or less vertical with the horizon. When the tail stands up, the head points south. Now these imaginary lines may not intersect with the horizon at exactly south, but they are plenty close enough for most navigation purposes.